Hello. Hi. Mic's on. Everything should be good. It looks like we got a stream. Um, we got a stream. Greetings to all of you. All 14, it looks like, that are here. Um, I am going to be your professor, I don't know, guide, guide. I'm going to be your guide for this summer semester um, through the course of ethics. Uh, feel free if you have any sort of questions or any sort of things you want to drop in, um, feel free to do so in the chat. I'll read them and get to them when I can. But for now, um, I am Reverend Compost. You can call me Reverend. I prefer Reverend over Professor, uh, mostly because those are my credentials. Um, I'm ordained. You can call me Mr. Compost too. I don't know. Um, I'm ordained, but I, I don't have a doctorate. Usually you call uh, instructors professors if they have their doctorate. That's where the doctor comes in. I don't. I have a master's um, and an ordination. So uh, I feel like calling me reverend is a lot better than calling me master compost. Uh, that only works in certain contexts. <laughs> but uh, for now, <clears throat> what we're going to get into is, uh, yeah, just there's all that addressing. This is summer ethics course. Uh, you ought to have all gone through and logged into D2L. The, the 14 of you that are here um, seem to hopefully be here through the, the D2L site, which means you ought to have completed the content. I'm going to touch on a lot of your, your um, syllabus, and then what we're going to end up doing is uh, we're going to just touch on the syllabus, uh, we're going to go over a bunch of that stuff, uh, answer some of the questions you guys had, and then um, get into the course introduction. So it should be kind of a lighter day, so to speak. Um, so for that, let's just go through. I, I trust that you all were able to get the uh, personal one. It has a picture of a mug, um, a little some e-card. Do people even use those anymore? I don't know. I do. Um, and a whole thing kind of describing my thoughts on ethics. Uh, for the most part, I think ethics is just something people don't usually think about. A lot of you might not have even thought about it, but I think that we think about it more than we think we think about it, if that makes sense. Um, some people put more thought into it than others. So uh, that's kind of the big blip on that. One of the bigger things I want to touch on is for sure this is – uh, philosophy 112, it's ethics over this summer, um, 2012, not 2012, summer 2020. Uh, do I have time? Yes, you do. I saw a lot of it was due today at one. Yeah, it'll still be open. Just kind of get onto it um, ASAP. A lot of it particularly will help as we get into uh, kind of the back end of, of the course introduction after I get through the syllabus. So um, if I start talking about stuff you don't know, uh, go back and rewatch some of the clips or reread some of the stuff, and it'll it'll uh, help um, clarify those things. You'll you'll catch on quick, hopefully. So um, yeah, just go back and get it done. Uh, so uh, ethics twenty twenty. We're meeting Monday and Wednesdays at 1 to 3.15. Uh, if and when everything lifts and it's all open, um, we'll be in the T building. If you don't know where that is, that's on the Rampart campus. But the T building is that little like kind of side building towards the mountains that's in between the uh, um, Child Development Center and uh, the Rampart campus building. Uh, there should be a map or things like that, but yeah, you'll be able to find it. Um, for now, as a little update, in case you don't know, where we're looking in terms of meeting is for sure this first week uh, and the next week um, we'll be meeting online um, until something gets lifted. Uh, the challenge will be, and it's something where I'd much rather than dealing with it, um, would just stay online, but the challenge is going to be unless, 
um, restrictions are lifted. Where we're at right now is 10 people per class, <laughs> per classroom. And on my docket, on my course list, what I have is 20 of you. Um, and they gave out all sorts of fun little facts and little like, whoo hoo things we could do. Um, I'm not, I'm not into that. I'm not into trying to split up the class twice or, or do things like that. Um, so, uh, I'm very personable and very preferential to meeting in person, but, um, you make do with what you got. You get lemons, you make margaritas or something. I don't know. So, uh, what we're looking at for now is, uh, going to be a bit of this live stream format. We won't meet on campus. Um, we'll take like this kind of live stream format for a while. Uh, I do have activities and activities. Um, I do have things that we can do as a group and meet up, uh, planned in the docket. So even if we end up staying where I'm just live streaming, um, each Monday, Wednesday, uh, there will be, uh, class times where we will meet in person, whether for group activities that will probably be when we get to apply to ethics, which is section five, seven, um, we have kind of a break where we watch a movie and uh, part of the movie will be, or part of your first exam will have questions from the movie. So um, we'll all just kind of hang out and relax after a lot of like content uh, the first half of the semester and watch a movie and then take the exam, et cetera, et cetera. So um, depending on how things look, there are still things that we can do in terms of uh, meeting. And in terms of even if they keep the restrictions of 10 per classroom, we can still do that um, kind of mid-semester. I'm hoping that that restriction lifts and we can transition to uh, in-person classes. I know a lot of you mentioned that too. You signed up for the course. I uh, am... am no good with this. Like I'm seeing myself on camera, which is weird. I'm not used to that. Um, I'm used to having a whiteboard behind me. That kind of grounds me because I draw a lot on the whiteboard. Um, I like uh, showing clips and stuff like that in class as opposed to um, requiring you guys to do that on your own time. Uh, so this is kind of a challenge for me, but I'm trying to work with what we can do. And the reason why I have things set up the way they are is because if we were to meet in person, um, I would be showing clips. So if you're attending, I know for sure that you're seeing the clips to explain the content and the material and stuff like that from the book because, um, there's no attendance and I can't, see all your beautiful faces. Um, I can't keep track of, of whether or not you for sure see the clips. So the way that I can do that is make them part of the content and modules and make sure that I can visually see, uh, <laughs> thanks. Um, make sure that you can visually see the, uh, the, stuff I need you to see to then explain. So that's kind of, we'll get into that, but, um, the, the, uh, we'll still be meeting just like we are now Mondays and Wednesdays. I would say tentatively, we're not going to probably go all the way till three fifteen. There might be a few lectures, so to speak, that there's a lot of content on there, but generally huh, I build my classes <laughs> in such a way that philosophy allows for discourse and dialogue and questions and back and forths. So I tend to incorporate a lot of time to uh, have you all raise questions and, and go off slightly on those questions and then bring it back. Um, between that and showing clips or material or extra stuff like that in class, it generally doesn't take up the whole, that's the bulk of the two hours and 15 minutes of a normal meeting time over the summer. Since um, all of those stuff are done on your own time, you know, the clips and stuff like that, uh, 
lecture wise, so to speak, is going to be less. So um, I'm shooting for like 245 ish or something like that. Some uh, live streams may go longer just based on the material, but I'm shooting for about an hour 45 of video time. That's a lot. I know it's a lot to watch this, but um, especially not in person. But uh, yeah, if you can manage that, we're all going to be successful. So there's that. That's the meeting times. Until otherwise, we'll still be doing live streams and meeting. Um, we'll just be meeting like this doing a YouTube live stream Monday and Wednesdays starting at 1. It won't go all the way to 3.15. It'll probably go to about 1.40 or 2.45, excuse me, 1 to 2.45. Um, contact info, um, me, compost, uh, you just call me that. There's really only, I know there was some confusion. Uh, my first name's James, but I go by my middle name. Um, I won't answer because I don't know if you're just calling somebody out or it's, it's Christians fairly common. Also, it's a religion. Uh, but if you just yell out compost, if you see me around, like I'll know you're talking about me because there's only one compost. There's only one compost at PPCC. Um, there's only one this looking compost uh, of adult male persuasion um, in Colorado right now, as far as I know. So um, there's that. My email address, christiancompost at ppcc.edu. I'm happy to answer. I tend to, to check regularly. So if you need um, any sort of help or you have any concerns or anything, bring them up and, and uh, I'm happy to talk. If we're in person, I'm generally happy to hang out after class or before class and discuss issues and stuff like that. Um, D2L, if you are here, that means you accessed D2L. We will be doing, in the meantime, the bulk of our course through our D2L shell. So get comfortable there. I will post announcements um, regularly. So if you miss something in a video, um, particularly about what's due, you can see it in the announcement. Content should be pretty straightforward in terms of completing the modules. Um, discussion boards, the same thing. Uh, you will see those things uh, crop up. if and when we transition to in-person in class, um, we will still keep up with uh, discussion boards weekly, but a lot of the content probably will, will lessen. I'll, uh, there'll be less to do in between each class um, in a week. So um, just stay on your toes like me. Um, drop dates, drop and withdrawal dates. If you don't know, um, drop date is the 4th of June. Uh, if you don't know what a drop is and what a withdraw is, when you drop a course, you get a refund. If you withdraw, uh, it's not counted towards your GPA. You just get a W on your transcript. You also don't get a refund. Um, so you have till the 4th of June, uh, to decide whether or not you're like, yeah, let's do this. Um, or you just like staring at me for an hour and a half or so. Um, twice a week. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, drop the class, get a refund. No hard feelings. Withdraw. Please, I'll remind you when we get closer to, to uh, the 20th of July, but that's your withdrawal date. You have, uh, yeah, that's when you, I don't have to mark you as a fail. Um, far better for me to do that or to, to have you withdraw than fail you. And again, no hard feelings. Cool. All right. So here's the general course breakdown. Um, it's going to be two sections. We've got a chapter five. Oh, the book probably should show you that. Here you go. Boom. There it is. This is the uh, sixth edition of the book. I actually have a three ring binder copy of the old edition. Um, and the, how you can tell the difference is one, this is all bound and it's not in a three ring binder. And two, um, the map on the front the sixth edition has the addition of Stoic Stronghold on this map. And then a cool little windmill right there. And the rest is about the same. So um, you'll know for sure you have the sixth edition, which is the most uh, like updated edition, as opposed to the uh, um, fifth edition, 
because of that little stoic stronghold and that windmill everything else oh and then it's it's bound um there's there's enough adjustments uh in terms of of page numbers and in terms of um little added introduction and a, a last section on stoicism um so uh make sure that that uh you probably have this updated book if you don't that's okay because if you don't um i will still try to incorporate what sections might need to be read per class um, and what pages they're on so it may seem like a lot of material coming at you um, in announcements or things like that so just slow down and read it and you'll be able to see okay he's, he's talking about for next class read section 5.0 um, and then I'll find section 5.0 so if I don't have the appropriate book I can still follow along Wow that's quite a start to that afternoon special for access to the full video or to get the full course or just support me making new content that has everything or nothing to do with what you just watched head on over to my patreon link in the bio join the community I'd love to see you there and have you become a part of something bigger than me but something where I can play my part just the same see you there